Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss next UI control that is button. Now button is a control that enables the application to have some action executed. That means when we click on the button, some action should be performed. That means when application user clicks the button, some action should be performed. Like say for example, when we click on login button, login should be performed. When we click on register button, the registration process should be done. So when we click on book the ticket, so ticket should be booked. Likewise, the button is the control which enables the application to have some actions. Now, button control can contain text as well as it can contain graphics because we are seeing many times a button with a image or we are seeing a button with a uh, text that means register, login, etc. Then, so when a button is pressed and released, an action event is sent. So that means we, when button is clicked, so action event is performed and based on that per event, we can design the event handler accordingly and we can perform the event. So we can handle the action event for this particular button. Now the button can also perform mouse event which we had discussed in our previous chapter. Mouse event can also be handled for the button. So event handler is capable of processing the mouse events which we'll be seeing into our example. So let us see the constructors for making buttons. So these are the buttons, constructors for making button. So button, an empty constructor which creates empty button with no text on it. Then button with string. So it creates the button with the text specified. And the last overloaded constructor is button with text as well as the image, the graphical image, which is node. So it creates a button with specified text and icon for its label. Now let's see an example how button is created and also we see the how event is handled for that button. Now in this case the package or the class pack in this case the packages required for button are already imported. So javafx.scene.control star. So star contains the button class. Now as you can see the class is created public static void main is also created now as usual our start method now we are taking one button so button btn equals to new button btn dot set text as you can see over here it was an empty constructor so no text was defined but later on we want to set the text the method is set text for this button so btn dot set text click me now we want to handle the event for this button that means we want to do something when this button is clicked so what we need to do is btn that is the object of that button dot set on action in case of mouse event it was set on mouse clicked over here it is set on action what event we want to handle so we need to register the event handler so the event handler is registered like new event handler and the event type which is going to perform is action event so we need to mention this class and the corresponding class is also declared in the package javafx.event.star. Now which method we need to write? Handle. So we need to handle the event. That means when button is clicked, the action is performed and we want to handle that action. And so we had passed the argument action event. And with what we want to do? We want to set the text of the label by writing button clicked. Now LBL, where it is, there is no reference of LBL. So let us declare the reference of LBL. So label, which we had studied in our previous session, label LBL equals to new label, which was blank, empty. Now we are setting the text by using the method set text. So LBL dot set text, button clicked. When this would be set, when the button is clicked, otherwise this label would be empty. Now this button is created, label is there. Now we are having two nodes, two separate nodes, which we want to add it to our pen, which we had studied in our previous chapter, pen. So we have created a pen of hbox and naming it to be root equals to new hbox. Then in this root, we want to add button and label. So we are setting the insets for them, which we are knowing. That means the margins from left, top, right and bottom same way for the label 
and we want to add it to our H box. So this is another way of adding it to our H box. In previous example, we had taken observable list, but now in this example, we are adding single, uh, means we are adding one by one. So that is also possible. So root dot get children, the same method dot add. In that case, it was add all, but over here we are using add. So root dot get children dot add etn and root dot get children dot add lbl. Both the ways are correct. You can use any of them. And we are adding this root node to our scene. So over here we have written new scene root and the width and height. But you'll be surprised no object of the scene is created. No, we have created the object, but it is an anonymous object which we are directly passing it to our set scene method of the stage. And we are displaying the stage. So let's see the output of this program. So this is the program output. When I click on this button, we'd get label displayed button clicked. Let's see the program. So this is our program where you can see the same program is there. But over here, as you see in the presentation, we had taken root.getChildren and add all method. In that it was single method, single button, single controls have been added. So let's try to run this. Both are same. So over here, label is empty. You can see no event has occurred. Now let's event let let event gets occurred. So can you see button clicked? So this is what is the button control, and it is one of the important controls used in GUI based applications. So that's it for today.